Hey, this is John Young. Today we're looking at a new line of speakers here from JBL. This is the Eon 715. It's a two-way speaker. We've got a horn, we've got a 15-inch woofer in there, a nice a, a nice plastic cabinet, very, very hard plastic, but a, a plastic cabinet unit. What, lightweight. I mean, yeah, it's a 15, there, but it's really, uh, really kind of a, a nice weight for moving around. You've got handle top, handle side, a little spot there where you can tuck the cord in and stick it in there. And then it goes right on down the speaker stand. I'm going to put it back on the speaker stand. This is an inch and three eighths speaker pole. And then, of course, you've got our technology in the back, and that's really what I want to dig into on this. Giving you the – for the, those who don't care about the technology, I'm going to just give you the, the sum up, and you can leave if you want to. Nice cabinet for wedding DJs or someone who's doing some smaller live PA. It's a, a really nice sounding cabinet. The highs come through. The vocals come through. And at uh, kind of that moderate volumes, you've got a really good sounding bass. This cabinet is in a, it isn't in the top of the line where you're going to be going into places where you need to peel the paint off the walls. This is just a really good multi-purpose cabinet. Uh, ceremonies. This has got some functionality in the technology that's going to be really cool for ceremonies. Uh, doing sound support where you're covering a large a large audience where you have multiple speaker spots. This cabinet's got some technology that makes that really cool. But for the people who are doing some like bigger events, this is this is going to be more for that person getting into the smaller weddings and that that arena or that PA uh, kind of things. And we'll cover that in technology. So just to give you an idea, it's great sound, but it has its purpose. So let's dive into the technology in the back. So first off, now as we're looking at our, our back here, we've got our power button. It's a button instead of a switch. This is kind of cool. It's almost like a computer type button there that'll turn everything on. And we've got two inputs right here. We've got two combo jacks, which has a tip ring sleeve or XLR. And we've got the ability to have a gain on those individual channels. Now, when we take this little gain and we turn it, you'll see it goes down and it comes up to zero. This is the gain that you would use for like line level. Uh, coming from your board, you'd use that to adjust it. Then above that, in order to go above that, you, you're gonna be talking about mic level situations. That's handled just a little bit differently with this speaker. We'll get to that in just a second. Uh, we've got our, our main main volume here, main the master that will affect the Bluetooth and it'll affect both of these lines coming in. So you've got three different potential sources, like mic, mic, and Bluetooth. Then we have the pass-through. And the pass-through we can set up uh, through the technology inside in the, the digital processing a couple of different ways. And I'll kind of touch on that as we go through the menu. So in that menu, first off, if you're not on access, meaning if I'm not looking at it pretty much straight from behind the camera right now, yeah, I can't see it. If I'm like at this angle, I can't see it. But yeah, you can see right now the gain is, is lit. We're going to go to that. And we can go and adjust the gain like for channel one. Now notice it doesn't go down below zero. It goes up. So for those very faint mic level audio, this is the way you could adjust that and bring that up. So you would have it closer to the level of what you need for your music. So if you're going to be doing mic level things, this is where you'd need to go to do that to give that boost. We're gonna back out of that. Now this one is called Ducking by Soundcraft. Of course, Soundcraft is one of the family of companies with JBL. What this will allow us to do is to go and turn ducking on. So I can run a microphone in here, and let's say I ran the music in here or via Bluetooth. We can set up ducking with this, and you can set up the different parameters. There's a, a lot of different uh, parameters here. And what this will allow us to do is adjust that so when I'm talking into the microphone, it will pull the music volume down. For a rental, this could be huge because you could run the, your, your iPad into here, they could run their microphone into here. They could have the background music going and the ducking's all set up. And then when they talk, the music goes down. Fabulous thing. Ducking is a neat feature. It's obviously, you can turn it on and off. Now we can go, and this speaker can also be hooked up into the DBX uh, drive rack. It can take an output from this into a drive rack and do some different cool things with it. I'm not going to dig into that because that's, I can show you there are some different things and settings with that. I'm not going to really get back in, get into that one because that one's pretty can be pretty in-depth. In but this is the other one I think as DJs we're really going to like. Pass-through and time align. We're going to go there. We can turn on the pass-through. So you can pass basically the audio through with no processing. Or you can go and you can do some different things with the the um, the audio coming out of this and, and such with that. One thing I want to – let's see. I want to go down here. And uh, let's see. Let's go here. We can come down. We can do some different things on our high pass and low pass. 
right down here, we have a delay on this. We can do some delay so that if we have a speaker, you know, our stage, then we go out 100 feet and add this speaker, and then we go out another 100 feet, add another speaker. We can set delay on pass through. So the sound that comes into this and it comes out, it will be the next speaker will be delayed, and I can control it here. Hey, I want to delay this speaker too. I can control it here. So I can go from my main stage. I can come off my main speaker at the stage into here, and I can delay this one that appropriate amount for 100 feet. Then I can come out of this one and go to the next speaker, and then I can set the next one at the appropriate delay for another 100 feet. So this has got the technology to be able to do timing, time alignment for itself and for the next cabinet in line, which is an absolute fabulous feet feature. And then we'll come back down here. We'll go down to settings. And in the settings, there's the Bluetooth and the, the pairing and, and do some different things with that. Very, uh, very simple, very easy to do. Um, for our sound test, we did this. We paired it up, and it really it worked well. It sounded great if you uh, ran a decent, uh, a decent streaming service. So that's really that's kind of the technology and the, the processing capability of that. And again, you can kind of see I can adjust my, my different volumes and different things here, and you can kind of see it going. Uh, it's just a, a nice little functional box for a lot of different applications. So that's an overview of the Eon 715. We'll put a link in the description below so you can go out to the JBL website, jblpro.com, and search products. And again, Eon 715. There are other the subs and the, and the different tops for the in that new 700 series line. Check it out at the link in the description below. Uh -huh.